So now that we've gone over the six core disciplines in their broad definitions, we're going to go into each one of them in detail and talk about its subdivisions and the areas of study that you can actually go into to develop those skills further. So starting with the physical domain, we're going to talk about agility. And to recap, agility is your total body awareness and presence. Uh, it has to do with your circulation, your breathing, your metabolism, your ability to generate energy, the way that you move through space. So all of those type of things. Um, and the first subdivision, which I had to go back and retrace my thinking, uh, but it's actually pretty good. I drew it from my personal experience as an entrepreneur and I say that business uh, very solidly lands under the physical domain in this way. Uh, if you take away money and look at business just in terms of work, uh, it is an extremely physically intensive activity. It's what most of us spend the majority of our time physically contributing to. Um, it has to do with your vitality, your tenacity, your endurance. Think of it more as like the marathon side of physicality. If you are working for someone else in their manufacturing process, you know, it has to do with lifting, packaging, managing inventory, uh, all of those type of things. It has to do with knowing what you can do, what your own limitations are, you know, being able to stand for long periods or provide service for long periods. Um, so in order to perform well and work, you have to really manage your own energy levels, your own metabolism. You have to eat at the right times. You have to eat correctly for the energy uh, demands that your job places upon you. So you have to know a lot about yourself, your body, and what you're capable of. So that's why business sits solidly here. Also, if you think of it in terms of uh, maybe more traditional endeavors rather than our contemporary kind of office paradigm, um, and you think about agriculture, for instance, uh, there's a lot of agricultural activities that really solidly kind of form the basis of what most ancient people's uh, physical training was. Um, my uncle uh, owns a farm and he complains all the time about how the kids these days, you know, just can't bale hay. Uh, but it's true, it's extremely physically intensive to do um, anything to do with agriculture, whether you're um, growing plants, you know, whether you're husbanding animals or herding. Um, if you think about, you know, cowboy type activities, managing a ranch, um, those are all disciplines that would go into uh, what I consider business in this instant. Um, so a lot of activities really with, uh, with animals, if you think about uh, things like 4-H, um, those would kind of land here, not so much the, the research side of them, but the actual activities uh, that go into, you know, making all of the food that we eat, for instance. Um, and then looking at other steps in the supply chain, those are very physical as well. Uh, bringing the goods to market, actually showing all day. Um, if you've ever worked a trade show, very physically intensive. Uh, so that's the kind of core training, and in order to be really good at business, uh, it's really arguable that you need to develop your core really well. You have to develop your breathing really well. Um, so any discipline that has to do with that marathon mentality uh, fits very solidly here in business. So for each of these, I'm going to give an overview of the category, as I just did kind of a synopsis, and then I'm going to go into further detail with a list that I've compiled of activities that would fall under this particular category to give you a better idea of what belongs there, and also maybe even give you some inspiration for uh, things to look into for yourself if you're interested in developing these core skills. So as I said, business uh, covers interactions with animals. And so that would count horseback riding, herding, farming activities. Uh, it also has to do with transporting goods from one place to another. So kayaking or canoeing, uh, most transportation disciplines like cycling, hiking, um, gathering disciplines like fishing, hunting, foraging, um, 
and exploration disciplines as well, like spelunking, sailing. This would count endurance running, marathons, and also to go with the foraging and the overall food thing we have uh, cooking goes here and herbalism because those are things that contribute to our energy and vitality and they're physically demanding and intensive. Um, here we also see construction, not so much the trades, those would go under dexterity, but uh, rough framing and kind of working all day doing various building activities would go here. Uh, that includes landscaping, earth shaping, moving dirt around from one place to another, ditch digging, right? Um, general cardio exercise goes here. We have other gathering activities such as lumberjacking and mining, caravanning, shopkeeping, falconry, conservation and park ranging, which is monitoring stretches of land, um, preventing poaching activities, enforcing protected areas, things like that, animal husbandry, caretaking, logistics, customer service, inventory management, utility work, and zip lining. So this is a list of suggestions. Hopefully you find it kind of helpful or inspirational, but uh, these will be categories that you might see in the final version of the skill matrix for nodes that can be branched off of and unlocked. The other subdivision is performance art. Uh, that one's a little bit more straightforward. Uh, that has to do with more of the raw power aspect, uh, the athletics, resistance training. Uh, it has to do with momentum and control. Uh, so that would go, uh, it would include, of course, dance uh, with some crossover into music there. And performance art touches visual art and music can be in both of those in a way. Um, so just your ability to coordinate and control your body throughout space, ability to perceive rhythm, uh, that all falls here. Um, acrobatics, yoga, uh, being able to work against the resistance of your own gravity and your own body. Uh, that can include modeling, being able to hold poses for a long time. Uh, it also can go into things like climbing, running, parkour, um, being able to perceive opportunities in your environment and use your physical presence to interact with them, basically. Um, so again, in the umbrella topic of physicality, we have core strength, stability, breathing, metabolism. So the list of activities that goes into the performance art category includes strength and conditioning, weightlifting for the core muscle building that we talked about before, rock climbing, surfing, gymnastics, archery, the whole gambit of ball sports. I'm not going to list them all individually, but any sort of team game activity would fall into this category. Uh, swimming, boxing, fencing, martial arts, those all kind of go together, parkour, dancing, trapeze, wrestling, jousting, sprinting, or any track and field type activities, jubilee, which is the Confluxes uh, compound multi-discipline performance art extravaganza. It's a social team sport type activity that we're going into great great detail about later um, but I'll introduce it here skating acrobatics Olympics and yoga
I hope that these specifically listed activities can help paint a better picture of what I'm talking about and what belongs in each of these categories. We're going to continue going through the rest of the disciplines in this way, in this format, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.